James, congrats on the win. Um, how close did you come to not playing tonight? You were testing your neck pregame. Uh, very close, actually. You know, um, just not able to really you know, be myself. Uh, and, I mean, tonight really showed just my, my full range of motion. Um, a little bit of everything, but, you know, no excuses. I try to fight my team needing me. And uh, I try to go out there and just you know, do my best and uh, hopefully that was good enough. It got the dub. Uh, you know, you've been here a little over two months. Your first game with the team, you had 14 assists. Looked like you were clicking with guys right away. But from your perspective, how has that chemistry, that confidence in each other developed in your time that you've been in Brooklyn now? It's there. <laughs> it's where it's right where we needed to be. Um, obviously, missing you know, Kay and, and Kai. Um, I think everybody else have a sense of like what their roles are and just doing it to the best of their ability every single night. Um, I'm really proud of the guys, especially in that fourth quarter. <clears throat> in order to be a special team like we're more than capable of being, you got to have a sense of urgency in every possession. You know, and things about the course of the games are going to happen, you know, turnovers or missed shots or whatever the case may be. But our sense of urgency and the way we play and our effort and our intensity on the defensive end has to be there no, no matter what, like no questions. And I'm proud of the guys in that full quarter because that's what, you know, won us the game, uh, especially that fourth. So um, that has to be the intensity every, every single night for us to, you know, be the best that we can be. Greg Logan, Newsday. Uh, James, you guys dominated in the paint tonight. And when I mentioned that to Joe, he said that it wasn't anything planned. It was just the way you could feel the game and what was working. What what did you sense out there that led you to to run so many so much pick and roll with Claxton and other guys and, and get people shots in the paint? Um, that's just the way the game. You gotta take take the game, you know, you know, when the defense with whatever it is giving you. Um you know, my shot wasn't falling in particular, but we just weren't getting our shots and open shots. So I just try to put pressure on that rim as far as me driving or, you know, getting our bigs or, or Bruce or whoever was in that pocket, you know, shots. And they did a good job of pulling the corral and, you know, forcing me into two. So I had to get a ball up and, you know, credit to my teammates that made the right play uh, and finished the possession. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey, James. Uh, you mentioned how your team needed you. I'm curious, I mean, if, if all those guys were healthy, if Kai was healthy, if Katie was healthy, Landry, I mean, would you have sat tonight? And secondly, do you think you'll have to wake up tomorrow and see how you feel tomorrow to know whether you're going to be able to play tomorrow? Yeah, like I, I'm, that's a good question, but I'm, and throughout the course of my career, I, I don't like really, you know, I love to hoop. Like I love to be out there and taking on a challenge of finding ways to win games. Like in basketball, everything isn't going to be perfect. You know, whether it's playing through injuries or playing playing banged up or, um, you know, I, I just think in life, like everything is, is, is always going to be perfect. So you find ways to, to fight through a little adversity. You know, obviously, you know, when you're hurt, you're hurt, you sit out. But, you know, I try to find a way to just go out there and make an impact and play if I'm able to, um, if it's not risking anything, if that makes sense. So, and that's how I've been out the course of my career, like throughout the regular season, I think everybody knows I love to play. Like, I don't really, you know, rest. I, I, I love to hoop. I love to be out there and be, being there for my teammates. I feel like if I'm on the court, um, you know, my teammates have a better chance than winning. So that's just my mindset. Um, and, you know, tomorrow when I wake up, you know, if I feel like I can go, I'm going to go. It's that simple. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, James, you know, we with this team, we talk about next man up a lot. And uh, I, I feel like whenever guys go down, or whenever guys are out, it, it usually boils down to one of TLC, Landry, or Tyler that has to step up and, and fill in for, for, for minutes. Can you just talk about what you've seen from or those three in particular? Or Bruce. Or Bruce, sure. Yeah, yeah. Those guys have been great, you know, all year long. Like, you never know when they're going to play. You never know how many minutes they're going to play. Certain guys got, you know, a certain amount of minutes that they play per game. Those four guys are in and out of the lineups. And, and even you can add Nick, Nick in, that, in that rotation as well. Of guys who just don't know when they're going to get in. So, uh, for those guys, for those guys to always be ready and be prepared, and have that uh, that uh, that mentality, that that like true um, um, professional, you know, attitude of whenever coach calls my name, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to contribute. It's very professional, and they've done an unbelievable job of that since I've been here. And um, that's what it's going to take to compete and win a championship. 
Moika Andrews, ESPN. James, you mentioned that you, you know, you, you've played the most games, 870 games of any player that's been in the league since you've been drafted. You've, you've played the most at this point. Is that something you take pride in, one, and also that you have young guys on this team that you're trying to kind of instill that type of work ethic on those that are around you? That, that's just how I am. That's just how I'm built. Like, for granted, like, if this thing was, you know, be done tomorrow and I wasn't able to play basketball anymore, I know that I gave everything I had. I know I didn't, you know, shortcut myself in any way, any point. So that's just my mentality. And that's where, where I am. And, and it will be over, you know, eventually, you know, one day. Um, but me in the back of my mind, knowing like, yo, listen, you did that. <laughs> you know, whatever the, whatever happens, happens at the end of it. You did that and you gave it your all. I can live with that. So, um, and I enjoy it. I enjoy like the grind, the, the, the legs a little tired, not feeling so well and going out there and trying to just, Find a way to win the game, and tonight I feel like uh, that was one of those one of those examples. Alex Schiffer, the Athletic. Hey James, both Steve and Joe said that you guys got better defensively over the course of the game after giving up forty one in the first quarter. Just what what was lacking in the first quarter that you know that got corrected in the, the final three? Uh, they were comfortable. They were getting to their spots, and they were shooting a lot of threes and. You know, coming to our, you know, our, sh our shoot, uh, our team meeting and our film uh, session, you know, we, we, you know, we, our coaches did an unbelievable job of preparing us and we talked about how Dame and TJ and their team gets up a lot of threes. Uh, you know, one of the top, you know, attempt three point shooting teams and we can't allow that to happen. And they were doing that in that first quarter, getting with everything they wanted, reject uh, screens, coming off, we weren't up, um, they were getting to the basket, they got whatever they wanted and we, made some adjustments, we talked about it, and we went out there and corrected it, and it showed. Um, you know, 20, every single quarter we got better defensively. So um, 25 in the second, 25 in the third, 21 in the fourth, and that's just signs of growth and signs of uh, us listening, going out there and executing the game plan. Last question, Tom Dowd, BrooklynNets.com. Hey, James, if we could just take a look at tomorrow night, you've got Utah, they've got the best record in the league, and you know, being in the West the last couple of years, you're very familiar with them, but do you have a sense of what's got them playing at a little bit higher level this year? Um, I think they're they're healthy. They're healthy and uh you know, they finally, you know, have clicked. I think that that uh loss in the in the, in the playoffs in the bubble last year really probably, you know, got to them a little bit. And so you got a full healthy team who's, you know, well coached and um you know, everybody knows their role and then have a great system. Uh, it works for them. So um, we played them. I played them a few times in the postseason. And, you know, they're a tough team, especially at home. So um, no different than every other game for us. We got to have that mindset of going out there and taking it to our opponent and uh, letting, the letting the chips fall where they do. Thanks for your time, James. Thanks, James. Thank you, James. Thanks, James. Thanks.